So Splatoon is a deceptively difficult game to get better at, and while I've covered improvement tips before, I think it's equally important to look at the other side of that, mistakes. There's a lot of common problems I see from people trying to get better at the game, and as someone with a lot of experience that's been a top level player for almost the entirety of Splatoon 2, I think it's a good time to cover them. I'll be going over the 5 most common things I see and how to avoid them. If this helps you, please consider subscribing as it helps me out quite a lot, and let's get started. So first up is excuses, and I know a lot of people are going to say this, but trust me, with Splatoon in particular, it is very easy to make excuses with this game. A common example could be dying to rollers. A lot of people just say that, oh, it just popped up out of nowhere, there was nothing I could do, and it killed me. And that kind of mentality is horrible because it makes excuses rather than focusing on what you actually needed to do better, which is maybe not dropping into the roller with no paint control special plan or teammates. A lot about getting better is being able to recognize your own mistakes and figure out what you need to do from it, and excuses will immediately stop that process. Making excuses is only one half of this coin though, and to really fix your mental you also can't get in the trap of just overly blaming and being too harsh on yourself. This is something I've seen a lot more recently, where someone will, for example, get picked off and then immediately call themselves stupid, or, oh, how did I do that, or I'm just the worst player, etc. And though it's very different from making an excuse, it has the same effect, which is, it keeps you from recognizing what actually happened and what should change, and instead makes it just, damn, you just suck at the game, you're not gonna get any better. Which is an even worse outcome, because not only are you not learning, but you're actively berating yourself, and if your mentality is really down like that, it's gonna be hard to really try to get better. You don't want to get yourself in that kind of mindset. It's a lot harder to break out of that habit than the excuses one, but it's equally as important. You can't be that unfair to yourself and everyone's gonna make mistakes. Even the best players will make mistakes in every single game they play. It's just part of the learning process, and that's perfectly okay. Up next, I want to talk about an aspect of the game that you should really prioritize when you improve, which is the movement, and oftentimes this either gets tossed aside for something like aim, or you end up just spamming one reliable option, and with Splatoon 3, we are already seeing that with the squid rolls. Don't get me wrong, it has a lot of options, you know, using it multiple times, or using it with your main weapon to shoot, but it does have a fair bit of end lag, and your accuracy and speed will decrease the more you use them in a row. Point being, it's punishable, and it should not be the main thing you do to move around. Splatoon's movement is very important, and limiting yourself to just the easy new movement option they gave will limit when you can do a lot. You should still be strafing with the main weapon, mixing up your squid form and moving around, and taking advantage of stage geometry. Do not just limit yourself to the fun new movement tech. And like I said earlier, spamming the new movement options isn't the only mistake I see. In general, I'll see a lot of people disregard movement in favor of aim. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend aim isn't important, it absolutely is, but it is not the main thing in this game. Movement is by far the more important factor. I see a lot of people get in the mindset of, I just should have hit that shot, or I just needed to aim better, or my aim is trash, when in reality, they're in a bad spot that put them in a disadvantage in a fight right away. Or they stood completely still while trying to fight someone, and that made them a super easy target to hit. Aim is something that's more natural natural and comes with time. There's definitely some things you can do to improve with it that I'll probably cover in another video, but it should not be your main focus and excuse for every single fight you do. Remember to focus on your movement, on your awareness of the stage and what's going on, coordinating with your team. A lot of these factors are more important than your aim. Another common problem in-game is tunnel visioning, or basically getting really focused on doing one specific thing to the point where you kind of forget about all the different options you have. Splatoon has a bunch of different things you can do, from the coordination, the movement, what fights you want to do. Trust me, there is a lot of options. You want to be careful not to always approach from the same direction, or always take fights with this one weapon who started to pick up on it and started to punish you for it. Especially when you're dead, it's important to take a step back, think about what you should be doing, and actively change change your strategy on. Another mistake I notice a lot is unrealistic goals, like getting a certain amount of kills in a match, like 20 or higher, or always hitting every shot in a game. Those things are just not realistic and not really healthy things to strive for in the first place. Wanting to get rank X in a certain amount of time is definitely a nice long-term goal, but what about in the short term? What are the things that you're going to work on over the next few days that you want to see progress on? Setting small goals that you can reach will help give you more focus when you're playing, and it'll help you out quite a lot. 
Another smaller mentality note is not being afraid of change. Now, this is something that might not happen to everyone, but you might fall out of your favorite weapon or playstyle, or just feel like doing something else. Especially if you're a veteran who's played a weapon for a long time, it's okay to fall out of it. I've had weapons that I've liked that I don't play very much these days, and sometimes what you want to play just changes. You don't have to force yourself to stay with any specific weapon or playstyle. If you don't like it and you're not having fun, you're probably not going to get a lot better at it, so don't be afraid to change it. And my final and most important piece of advice out of either of these two tip videos is focus on enjoying the journey. Listen, improvement takes a lot of time and it never ends. No matter how good you get, you can always get better. I've played this game for over six years now, and I still have a ton of things I know I can get better at. Trying to get better at a game should be a process you enjoy and also one you can look back on, see yourself a few months ago, and notice changes and be proud of them, even if they may seem small. You want to try to have fun with improving, because at the end of the day, this is still a game and you're still trying to have fun at it. And if it's not fun, why bother? If you made it to the end of the video, thank you, it means a lot. Improving is hard, and if you guys are trying to get better, that's commendable. I hope your individual journey goes well, and if this helped you, please consider sharing the videos, it helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time.